when you want high school football action. Go with the best. Glenwood Titans football on 970 WMAY. Here's Mike Winmacher. Welcome to the Glenwood Titans State Quarterfinal Playoff Preview. Uh, the Titans, to get to this point, had a game last week in normal against normal U High, a hard-fought 27-20 victory for the Glenwood Titans. Uh, Donovan Hammond returned to the game, was in uniform. He was injured in the Week 1 playoff game against Carbondale. Came back against normal U High, but did not play much. Actually had one carry for one yard. He's their leading rusher going into the game. But Brandon Montre and Joey Giovanelli carried the workload in the running game. But it was actually the passing game that did a majority of the damage for the Glenwood Titans. They had two touchdowns through the air. Dan Helm did most of the damage, over 100 yards receiving. And Sean Dowling cut a touchdown pass as well. But this game came all down to the defense for the Glenwood Titans. On a fourth and three on the 22-yard line of the Glenwood Titans, under a minute left to go. And we'll diagram this play on the big board because a very impressive play by the Glenwood Titans defense. Kyle Morris, the quarterback for Noma Uhai, a very mobile quarterback, rolled to the right side as he's been doing all day long. He had trips to that side. He rolls to the right, so a lot of the momentum of the play is going to that side. He ends up throwing back to the left to running back Joe Johnson. They're trying to catch the Titans off guard by rolling to the right, throwing back to the left, but the Titans weren't fooled, namely Nathan Hack and Eric Kerr. Both stayed at home. Nathan Hack makes the initial contact. Eric Kerr cleans it up, stops Johnson short of the first down marker. Titans get the ball, turnover on downs. They kneel the ball three separate times, run out the clock, and escape normal with a 27-20 victory. Now they take on the SHG Cyclones this Saturday in the state quarterfinal playoff action. The Cyclones, the only team to beat the Glenwood Titans so far this year. It was week one. Titans lost that football game 34-27. The Cyclones came out early and really took it to the Titans. Second half was a totally different story. Can the Glenwood Titans come out stronger in the first half and maybe avenge their only loss of the year? That's what we'll find out this Saturday. We'll have the pregame at 1230, kickoff at 1 o'clock on 970 WMAY. The News and Talk of Springfield. Listen all season as the Titans take on the Central State 8. Glenwood Titans football on 970 WMAY.